Hey everyone, this is Jake with my Bring Back, continuing our tutorial series on the development of applications for the iPad and iPhone. If you guys missed the first video, um, we basically just touched on installing Xcode 4 and then some of the basics of the developer program that Apple has going on. So now we're actually going to launch into to, uh, opening up Xcode 4, doing kind of an overview of what Xcode 4 is capable of. And then uh, the next tutorial series we'll be diving into some of the individual components of Xcode 4 and what are the capabilities um, for developing your apps. So, as you can see we've created a new new project uh, within Xcode 4 and the first thing that comes up is we've got the option to choose some templates for our new project. Again, the project relating to um, the whole encompassing, the encompassing aspects of your application, whether it's your resources, your classes, your interface, your view, etc. We'll get into all that later. But uh, as you can see, first thing that pops up is we've got the choice between the iOS and the Mac OS X um, templates. So you can develop a Mac OS OS X application as well as the iOS. We're going to be focusing mainly on the iOS up here. And you can see we've got different frameworks, we've got uh, some empty application status and stuff. But uh, what we're going to be focusing on are these templates here um, to start and get a basic understanding and then we'll move into some of the more in-depth um, application templates and stuff and how to build off of them. If you want to start from scratch, the window-based window application is going to be uh, a launching grounds for that. We're going to start out primarily with this view-based application. It gives us a good, a good foundation and then we can build from there. So once you have that selected, go ahead and click Next. Now we're actually going to give our uh, application a product name. So we're just going to call it Bringer. Um, we've got a company identifier, which that's going to be who are you basically when uh, putting this app together. Again, all this stuff can be changed at a later date, so don't worry about it if you, if you label it something and you want to rechange it or change it later. We've got device family, so we can actually specify whether it's for an iPad or an iPhone. Right now we're going to do iPad because of the bigger interface and uh, you'll see what I mean later. And then we got to include unit test actually checked uh, the radio button there. So we're good to go as far as clicking next and now we just have to assign where we want to store our application our project within. Just uh, find a shared folder, find a place where you want to store your application. This doesn't really matter as long as you don't move it after the fact. Um, that'll kind of confuse it but you can you can still adjust that. So I've got an iOS apps folder I'm just going to go ahead and create the bringer app within there. So right now it's putting together the view, your controller for that template, and you can see we've launched into what is called the summary screen. And this is new in actual Xcode 4 as far as how easy they've made some of these actual components that again we'll go into at a later date. So again what we want to do is actually just run through the overview. Xcode 4 is a little bit newer, it's got some different functionalities, we're going to go over that and then we'll start diving into each individual component to actually building your app. So what I want you to do is on the top right hand corner you'll see this view with three buttons above it. The right two buttons are currently hidden so we're going to make those so they show up. And you can see two, we've got sidebars that popped up and then a footer down here. Now once you have that selected let's actually go through and kind of introduce you to the workspace, this window, and how they've kind of integrated everything together, which makes it really nice. So let's start off at the top up here. This is going to be kind of your toolbar up here. It's got uh, different components up here as we spoke about. We've got a view, editors, organizer, which kind of holds different files and stuff. Again, we'll, we'll jump in and, and break through some of those things at a later date. Um, then below that we've got a, a navigator selector bar which within some of these options you'll see you know here's a hierarchical view of what is called our navigator area over here so the left area over here is going to be the navigation of the different files the classes um, some of the supporting framework and files within there so we've got the navigational bar that will actually change some of your uh, navigator area over here the hierarchical you got to search You've got different alerts, um, issues going on, debug, etc. So, navigator, navigation bar that changes some of the navigator files. You've got uh, your toolbar up here. This is going to be your center area that uh, changes based on the files that you're in. So right now we're 
we're on the application we're looking at a summary of our application as we were to click into let's say this zig zip file this xib it's going to actually change to well there we go it's actually going to change into our our view of the actual application and so and so what we're going to do here is this was where we would actually see the actual iPad screen. So just uh, this main area is going to change based on the, the content that you're in. So again, when you go back to the application and look at it, you can see the summary of your application. Down here, this little footer bar that we actually popped up, this is going to be your debugger area. And again, we'll get into that at a later date. Over to the right, we've got our inspector. Um, inspector area and then within this inspector pane and then within this we've got our library down here and again our library selector navigation tool that gives us more options library um, different objects and uh, again controls that we can use this is going to be our code snippet library and then file template library so again don't worry about you know if this looks overwhelming right now we'll get into each one a little bit later and then up here, this is going to be our inspector pane. So based again on what we're in, that's going to change based on the content. So as we switch into this file, we can uh, we can actually add stuff, and that'll change. Let me just uh, show you a quick example. If we drop a label in here, as you click the label, you can see we've got the attributes of this label, and we can change those attributes based on on what we'd like for our program. So that's kind of the gist of Xcode 4 right now. We've got our interface interface builder, which we're in right now, the XIB, and that's again in the center. This is a little bit different from the old Xcode because the old Xcode was, it would open a whole different, separate window. Okay, and one last thing before we wrap up this tutorial series as far as an overview goes. Um, we've got the basic components here. As you can see, we just dropped a little label in here for now, and we'll go into that in a little bit detail, more detailed later. But we actually want to run this, and by running it, it's going to actually check to make sure the application doesn't have any errors. But then it's also going to launch a simulator, and you guys will get really familiar with the simulator and how that works. So we clicked Run up here. Right now, it's compiling our file and our applications, and as you can see, we've got an iPad simulation popping up taking a little bit, it's running our application, trying to figure it out. Alright, and so if we were to actually launch this application into the App Store, you can see all it would be is, is a label that says label in the middle of the screen. So that kind of gives you a, a basic idea of where everything is in Xcode 4, your simulator, your interface developer, um, your classes, your, your actual summary of your apps. So the next tutorial series will be going into some of the basics and uh, some of the individual components so we can start learning the whole breadth, breadth of uh, the Xcode 4, the development environment here. So let's, uh, let's end it there and uh, I hope you guys subscribe. Let me know what you guys are interested in learning as far as the application development. Again, this is going to be a basic series to uh, bring up everyone to the same level and then hopefully we can help each other with uh, different app integrations as as we move forward so looking forward to it uh peace out guys